Why are they doing this right now? So, David, you remember when the banks put in about $30 billion worth of deposits into First Republic to show a vote of confidence in the system and to also help shore up First Republic in light of what happened to SVB. But now they're having to boost their own reserves to basically cover for potential losses for a rainy day. So initially when they parked that money there and some of the big lenders like JP Morgan, City Wells put in about $5 billion each, they expected that they would fully get that money back when the time came and they still expect that but there are these accounting rules that are designed to protect banks in the event um, of potential losses so they want banks to have provisions stockpiled in case things go wrong and that's why they're having to do it and now it's what's happening is that that hundred million dollars obviously is a very small fraction of the five billion each that they put in so it just shows that the move wasn't entirely without risk even though it was for the right reasons.